वेलकम टू वी के टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन दी वेरियस एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन दी हेनरी स्लो वी नो अबाउट दैट दी हेनरी सेज दैट दी पी इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू दी एक्स सो वी कैन से दैट दी पी इज इक्वल टू दी के एच इनटू एक्स पी इज द पार्शियल प्रेशर के एच इज द हेनरी कांस्टेंट एंड एक्स इज दी मोल फ्रैक्शन सो फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद दी फर्स्ट एग्जांपल दिस हाइड्रोजन गैस इज बबल थ्रू वाटर एट 293 केल्विन हाउ मेनी मिली मोल्स ऑफ N2 gas would dissolve in 1 liter of water. Find out that the how many millimoles of N2. So this is the mole and N2. Find out the millimoles of N2. Assume that N2 exerts a partial pressure P of 0.987 bar. The kh of kh for N2 at 293 Kelvin is 76.48 kilo bar. So that way kh is equal to 76.48 kilo bar. Kilo bar converted into the bar. So it's multiplied with 10 raised to 3 bar. We know that the, in the Henry's law says that the p is directly proportional to x. So p is equal to kh into x. Where p is the partial pressure, k is the constant and x is the mole fraction. Value given is the partial pressure of N2 and KH value. So we find out that the X value. So X is equal to P upon KH. P value is equal to 0.987 divided by the 76.48 into 10 raised to 3. Pressure unit is a bar, KH unit is a bar. So bar bar cancel out. That means that the mole fraction unit is this is the unit less. So this value given is the 1.29 into 10 raised to minus 5. So that is the mole fraction of N2. We know that the mole fraction. What is the meaning of the mole fraction? Mole fraction is equal to the number of moles of A divided by the numbers of moles of A plus number of moles of B. Whereas the A is the solute and B is the solvent. So in this example, A is the N2 and B solvent is the water. So, we write that the mole fraction of N2 is equal to the mole fraction of A means that is the N2 and mole fraction of N2 plus water. We find out that the mole of N2. First, we know about the what is the value of the mole of the water. How to find out the number of mole of water? So we know that the in the find out the millimoles. Moles is equal to the moles is equal to the weight upon molecular mass. So this moles in the water, moles of water is equal to weight upon molecular mass. We know that the molecular mass of water is 80. But weight of the water is in this terms of the moles. Moles set means the number of moles of water, number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution. That way 1 liter means 1000 ml and it's multiplied with density. So it's converted into the 1000 gram. So this is the 1000 divided by 18. So this is the 55.5 mole. This value put in this equation. So N N2 divided by the 55.5 because of the N N2 is very very less than the 55.5. So this value X N2 given is the 1.29 into 10 raised to 5. That way we find out that the mole of N2 1.29 into 10 raised to minus 5 multiply with 55.5. This gives the to 10 raised to minus 3. So we write that the 16 into 10 raised to minus 3 multiplied with 10 raised to minus 1 mole. So that this 10 raised to minus 3 and 7.16, it means that the 7.16 millimoles. 7.16 into 10 raised to minus 1 millimole. And another way, 0 0.716 millimole. That way we find out that the millimoles of nitrogen. The KH for O2 dissolved in water is 4.34 into 10 raised to 4 atm at 25 degree. 
given value is the pH for oxygen this is the 4.34 into 10 raised to 4 atmospheric pressure if the partial pressure of oxygen so partial pressure of oxygen in air is 0.2 atmosphere under atmospheric condition calculate the concentration calculate the concentration of dissolved oxygen in equilibrium with air at 75 degree we know that the Henry's law says that the P is directly proportional to X. So, P is equal to the KH into X. So, partial pressure of oxygen given value is 0.2. KH value is given. And find out that the mole fraction of the oxygen. So, X O2 is equal to the 0.2 divided by 4.34 into 10 raised to 4. Find out the concentration. We know that this is the mole fraction. So, mole fraction X is equal to the mole of oxygen upon number of moles of oxygen upon number of plus number of moles of water. Because of the, this is the dissolved in water. How to find out that the number of moles of water? So, N is equal to the weight upon molecular mass. This weight is 1000 divided by 18. So, its mole is a 50. 5.5. This value put in this equation and NO2 is a very very less than the 55.5. So mole fraction of X is equal to the NO2 upon 55.5. Because of the NO2 is very very less than the 55.5 value. This X value is given 4.6 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by the is equal to NO2 55.5. So moles of oxygen is 4.6 into 10 raised to minus 6 55.5. We know that the find out the concentration. In concentration mole per liter that means the molarity. Molarity is equal to the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1000 ml or per liter of solution. So this is the mole value where number of mole of oxygen is equal to 2.55 into 10 raised to minus 4 mole. Mole means that is the present in the 1 liter dissolved in 1 liter or 1000 ml. So this is the definition of the molarity. So that way we can say that this value is the same as the concentration of the oxygen. So Concentration of the oxygen is equal to 2.55 into 10 raised to minus 4 mole. Next is dry air contains 79% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Determine the proportion of nitrogen and oxygen dissolved in water at 1 atm pressure. Henry's law constant for nitrogen and oxygen. So KH for nitrogen is equal to the 8.54 into 10 raised to 4 atmosphere pressure. And oxygen in H2OR, KH for oxygen is equal to the 4.56 into 10 raised to 4 atm. We find out that the proportion of N to NO2. Proportion of N to NO2 means find out the mole fraction. So mole fraction of N to N mole fraction of oxygen. But in this Henry's law says that the P is directly proportional to X. So P is equal to KH into X. We find out that the mole fraction and given value is KH. So how to find out the value of pressure? Given data is the 79% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen. At 1 atm pressure, its pressure is the 1 atm. So, find out that the pressure of nitrogen is equal to 1 atm pressure multiply with 79 divided by 100. Because of the 79 is given in the percentage. So, it gives the 0 0.79 atm. Same way, pressure of oxygen is equal to at 1 atm, at 1 atm and its proportion is 21% divided by 100. So, this is the 0 0.21 atm atmospheric pressure. That way we find out the X into N XO2. 
put this value in this equation. So P into pressure of nitrogen is equal to 0.79 divided by the KH value is 8.54 into 10 raised to 4 into Xn2. One fraction of the nitrogen. So Xn2 is equal to 0.79 divided by 8.54 into 10 raised to 4. That same way, mole fraction of oxygen is equal to the pressure upon KH value. That's pressure is the 0.21 divided by the KH value 4.56 into 10 raised to 4. That the proportion of N2 and O2. So its ratio Xn2 then XO2. That is the 9.25 into 10 raise to minus 6 and 4.26 into 10 raise to minus 6. That gives the 2 gem 1. So its proportion of the nitrogen to oxygen is 2 gem 1. Next is what concentration of nitrogen should be present in a glass of water at room temperature. That means another meaning it says that the solubility of nitrogen. Find out the solubility of nitrogen. So solubility of nitrogen. Then assume a temperature of 25 degree, a total pressure of 180 m and mole fraction of nitrogen in air 0.78. We know that the pressure of nitrogen is directly proportional to the mole fraction of nitrogen. So its value is 0.78. So pressure of nitrogen is equal to 0.78 atm. This ATM value and KH value given in this the MMHG form. So ATM converted into the MMHG 788 into 7760 MMHG. This gives the pressure of the nitrogen value in the MMHG. Any gas or solubility of nitrogen is directly proportional to the pressure. So this is the pressure. The so solubility of nitrogen directly proportional to the pressure of nitrogen. The so solubility of nitrogen is equal to the KH into PN2. KH value given is 8.42 into 10 raised to minus 17 molar upon mmHg. Multiply with the pressure of nitrogen. Pressure of nitrogen is 59.2.8. This two is to cancel out. So this value and this value multiply with give the molarity. That way we find out that the concentration of the nitrogen. Partial pressure. Partial pressure. Find out the partial pressure of oxygen. We'll have a solubility of solubility value 0 0.06 gram per liter in water. Solution is of water. Henry's law constant Kh. Of oxygen is a 46.82 multiply with 10 raised to 3 bar. Because of this, this value is given is the kilo bar. So kilo bar converted into bar. Assume the density of the solution to be the same as a water. We know that the rho is equal to the mass upon volume. Water density is 1 and volume. Find out the volume value. Volume is a per liter. Per liter means 1000 ml. This is the 1000 ml. So M value is equal to 1000 gram. So weight of solution is equal to the 1000 gram. And solubility means that is O2 dissolve in this water. So weight of oxygen is equal to the 0 0.06 gram. So find out the, the weight of the solvent. Weight of the solvent. Weight of the solvent. That means solvent means solution minus solute. Solution value given is 1000 minus 0 0.06. This gives the 999.94. Now. First find out that the mole fraction. So mole fraction of oxygen is equal to the mole of oxygen upon mole of oxygen plus solvent. Solvent value means this is the 999.94 gram. Solvent is the H2O. So first 
and H2O is equal to the so H2O value given is the 999.94 divided by 80 and oxygen value is weight of oxygen is 0 0.06 divided by 32 is a 55.55 and mole of oxygen is equal to 1.875 into 10 raised to minus 3. We find out that the mole fraction x O2 is equal to put in this value this equation 1.875 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by the 55.5 because of the, this value is very small than the 55.55. That way we find out the x O2 value. This is the mole fraction. We know that the kh value so we find out that the pressure value so po2 is equal to kh into this value kh value given is the 46.82 into 10 raised to 3 and this value put so this find out that the pressure value